video is going to be another beauty battle breakdown, East versus West edition, and the products that I'm going to be talking about today are from Maybelline. They are going to be the Superstay Better Skin Powders against the White Super Fresh. Now, let me give you guys a little bit of background. I picked up the Maybelline White Super Fresh UV Whitening Long Lasting Two Cake while I was in Singapore a couple months ago. This was launched back last year, I think actually closer to the end of last year, end of 2015. I'm going to go ahead and put the specs here as far as shade selection, SPF, all that kind of stuff just written down so you guys can see it. And then I also just got my hands on the Western counterparts so as you can see the packaging is very similar but I have three of these these are the Maybelline Superstay better skin they have similar claims so this is supposed to last for 12 hours long wearing keep your skin matte however instead of being brightening and whitening this has a vitamin B5 and septonic M3 which is supposed to keep your skin hydrated and puff up your skin so instead of getting like you know, with powder, you can get dry patches and all that kind of stuff. It's supposed to prevent that. So both of these powders are designed to be used as a foundation alone because these are supposed to offer pretty high coverage. However, you can use these on top of a foundation. So as in typical fashion, I'm not going to have any primers on, use concealers, foundation, set this with a powder or anything. I'm just going to use these powders. The only thing that I have on my skin right now at the moment is a little bit of sunscreen just to protect my skin as I'm out and about for the day. And yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and apply this onto my skin. So first I'm going to start off with the Maybelline White Super Fresh Long Lasting Two Cake on the left side of my face. Again, I have shade 05 Sand Beige and yeah. So I have already done swatches of these on for this video before filming this. I have to say immediately that this is a, almost I feel like this is more powdery than the other Better Skin foundation. And it definitely has the brightening component which a lot of Asian foundations tend to have, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. the white super fresh on the left side of my face it's a pretty good skin match for me I have to say so myself now I'm gonna use 25 nude beige because that's the closest to the 05 sand beige from the white super fresh I have to say I wish I could have gotten one shade lighter because I think this looks a little too tan on my skin but you know you gotta work with what you get also for some reason the sponge on the American ones are quite different from the Asian ones. I don't know if you guys can see but this this American one is thinner and also the Asian one is a little bit more rigid. So I kind of like the sponge better. I feel like it applies it nicer. Also the coverage it seems like on the Western one is higher. So you can see I had that pimple there and it's pretty much covered and my dark under eye circles, I think on this side it looks a lot better. Alrighty, so I have the Better Skin all over the right side of my face and I have the White well, Super Fresh on the left side of my face. And I have to say, they look pretty similar. Um, I can definitely tell a slight shade difference. However, if I didn't know I was wearing two different foundations I probably wouldn't think anything of it if I didn't look that closely yeah like I do in these beauty battle breakdown slash first impressions videos I'm gonna wear this throughout the day check in with you guys and show you how it's wearing and we will go from there so here are some close-ups
So I'm checking in. I've had these on my skin for about six hours now. Um, I have to say I feel like these have worn off quite a bit. Um, honestly, I can't even really see them on my skin anymore. Maybe a little bit if they're still there, but I feel like for the most part, they're gone. I feel like these are supposed to be long lasting powders on their own. They're definitely not lasting 12 hours. I feel like they were gone off my skin at like the four hour mark. Now I'm not going to say that these are bad powders because maybe they would be good at setting other foundations or on top of other creams or something like that, but just on their own without any primer or concealer or anything like that, I'm very unimpressed. So I will give you guys close-ups of what it looks like. I will probably end up checking in with you guys at the end of the night. However, I don't know if it's gonna be very helpful because I feel like it's already pretty much gone now, so it's going to be gone, obviously, at the end of the night. And yeah, so let's go into the close-ups right now. Guys, so I think I'm gonna pretty much call it a day on the beauty battle breakdown between the white super fresh and the better skin skin transforming powder from Maybelline by the way I'm about nine hours into wearing this on my skin like I said I did go outside I did kind of sweat in it so I wanted to actually test it out and I feel like it pretty much wore off like I said earlier at the four hour mark I really can't see it on my skin anymore and I just feel like this is better as like a setting powder or something like that or with concealer alone I feel like these are not foundations these don't offer the coverage that I like they don't stay all day and these are supposed to last for 12 hours so I'm quite disappointed in both of them it's kind of hard to judge which one I like better only because they didn't last that long honestly looking at them it looks like they both wore off pretty evenly I think actually the white fresh side stayed a little bit longer but overall not that impressed, I wouldn't spend my money on it, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this beauty battle breakdown, East versus West. Let me know if you guys have any other products you'd like me to try like this, and as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy, and don't forget to rate, comment, <laughs> rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!